Welcome to Delicious Italian. Today what I'm going to be making is a pasta dish, orecchiette in particular, with bacon. I have rendering on my stove back here, and peas. So it's an adaptation of a dish called pasta con prosciutto e piselli, which would be prosciutto and peas. But today, instead of prosciutto, I'm using bacon because, because it's delicious and it's readily available. Sometimes a uh, good prosciutto is hard to find unless you go to your little Italy, which I'm not doing today. So bacon is my meat of choice. But you could use guanciale, which is pork jowl, pancetta, prosciutto, any of them. They all work beautifully. So my uh, prosciutto is just rendering. I would like to render out the fat first so that I could cook my onion in that fat. Um, I'm not adding any other fat to it until the end. Well, I'll finish with a little bit of butter, a little pat of butter. So uh, here's my one onion, which is chopped. I have uh, the peas. I did not shell these peas. Um, these are frozen and they are a great uh, product for this dish. I have orecchiette. Now I often make this dish with tortellini and it's really delicious with tortellini. Today, orecchiette. I have some white wine, some fresh basil for right at the end. I have some uh, heavy cream, some salt and pepper, and I'll just show you how we put this together. Okay, our bacon is cooking away. I've got it on a uh, medium heat, and I've got some good color getting on this, and I want this to really render out a little more of that fat before I add the onion because I want this bacon to be nice and crispy. If I add the onion now, it might not get crispy as I want it. I'm adding my orecchiette to boiling salted water, and this is gonna take about nine minutes for al dente, and that's how I want it. Nice and al dente. Okay, our bacon is ready for the onions. I'm just going to add those in. There we go. We'll let this cook until those onions have uh, gotten nice and caramelized and brown. All right, so our onions are nice and caramelized. You can see all that good color on the bottom of the pan. I'm just going to deglaze that with a little bit of my white wine here. I'm going to turn up my heat a little bit. There we go. It's really just, oh, maybe a quarter of a cup, not very much don't need too much. I'm going to let some of that cook out before I add my peas and finish this dish. Okay, this is cooking out nicely. I'm going to add just a little bit of salt because that bacon is salty. So think of just the other ingredients that are not salty and needing to salt those. So I am ready to add in my peas. There we go. That's enough peas. That is about a cup of peas, and I like the peas in there, so I add a lot, but you don't need that many. So we've got our good, nice color on our onions, our bacon, and our peas are just in there getting all that flavor on them too. I'm gonna add some pepper to this. If you don't care for pepper, don't add it, but it is a delicious addition. And we are, see, you could see how all that uh, caramelization has come up off of the pan and will make this sauce really delicious. Now our orecchiette are almost cooked. I am ready to add just a pat of butter in here and I'm going to add a little bit of cream in here. I don't want to cook this out too much. So I do this right at the very end. There we go. I'm gonna turn my heat way down here and get my pasta to go in here. Okay, it's time to add our drained orecchiette. I cooked those till they were al dente, just the way we want them. Switch out my spoon here. Get that all mixed in. Now the one ingredient I didn't talk about yet was Romano cheese, and I'm saving that right for the end. Nice big handful, oh about probably a half a cup. This is gonna serve a couple of really hungry people or four uh, people or <laughs> however many people want to eat this. That's what it's gonna be for. All right, 
so we have our Romano cheese all mixed in there, nice and silky. We added the butter, the cream, and now just some fresh basil right at the end. Turn off the stove, mix that together, and it is time to eat. Here's our finished dish, orecchiette with bacon and piselli. I hope you'll make this dish at home, and I hope you'll tune in again for more delicious Italian. Buon appetito!